Okay, actually using my scraper today. Of course, I just got it mounted on a big car, it holds 300 pounds, goes right over the rubble. Did my brush. Already pre brushed, get a lot of the crud off. And then it's nothing more than nice and easy all the way down. Boom, done. This one I'll go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. There you go. Or if you like to hit the corners along the top, get that one done. One of the other preferred methods is just to go straight down. Up and over and 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 down. Done. Thought I'd use this today because it is very hot, very windy. As soon as I put something on the glass, boom, like <laughs> instant dry, instant vapor. And once you know it's good, and you know what? This type of glass, guess what kind of glass it is? Come on, take a guess, take a guess. <laughs> tempered. Ooh, I just scraped tempered glass. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Pansies, quit your wine. It's glass. You know what the hell you're doing? You're good to go. If you don't, don't clean tempered glass. And like people say, oh, steel wool, that gets it off. This particular window, overspray the whole window. Do you know how long it would take me with a pad to sit here going, uh, uh, uh. okay, you know what? I think maybe I'll buy $40, $50 worth of chemicals, lacquer thin that don't work. Plus, you don't want any drip onto here because the painters will have a case of the you know what. If you got to, they got to come up here and paint because you have lacquer thinner, alcohol, or some crap eating up their paint. So, use a scraper, use it light. Make sure it's a very thin stainless steel. You have a very good insert in your scraper so you get a very flat blade. And then, once you're done, then you can take your pad real quick. Because untempered, you're doing it lightly. You're not gouging the hell out of it. Now just take your steel wool, just kind of go over, you know, rub some spots here and there where, you know, up here maybe there's some silicone, a little speck of paint that always likes to sit right there. See up there, there's some. Now, what I do. Here, let me put this back in here. I have enough cuts in my hands today. Okay, now what I do is I got my special soap mix when I'm all done. I'm just going to give it a quick soap. That's all, just a quick soap. Because those little flecks will stick to every damn thing. The soap will help keep it. Now, all you need is your sprayer. And I've actually switched to a yellow sprinkler head sprinkler. Why? Come on. I'm a spray bar freak, right? Look at that. Perfect four rows, perfect spray. There we go. Just give them all a rinse down. Give it all a nice rinse down. All right? Kind of like when I do it on pressure washing, I get all the big goop out of the way. Okay, notice the spray pattern. And you wonder how I could do tap wash and get spot free? Sure, environment, soap, however, it's also how you spray it off. That's how it does it. How you work off any residue. Those little drops will hold on. Those little specks will hold on to a drop of water. Or you can go straight down this way. One swoop. 
Okay, that about does it. Just another helpful hint. That is all.